Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas Ready? Okay, all ready. This is Trinity College London ISC1 B1 for skilled worker visa, I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening exam today. What's your full name? My full name is Tijama B. Joseph. What's your topic's title for today? My topic is this, myself. What are your four topic points? My four topics are my family, my favorite food, my favorite uh, place, my friends. What kind of places do you like? I like, uh, I like uh, various type of. Uh, Papers, uh, different types of uh, culture places. Hmm. Do you like any historical places? Uh, yeah, I like it, historical places. Could you tell me about your favorite historical place? My historical... Place is Coventry. Hmm. Do you like to in, in Coventry? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, an old cathedral, old cathedral, and transmissions is there. Can you repeat yourself? So, I don't uh, understand. The cath you. cathedral. Cathedral, church. The historical. I like it. Uh, Cathedral, Charles, yeah. Okay. Could you please tell me if you like to visit museums or galleries? Yeah, last time I recently visited uh, Coventry. Uh, that was a uh, motor museum. A variety of cars are there. We can do oldest cars there. Uh, 19... I think 1931 to 2024 periods of cars are there. Hmm. Okay. Tell me something about your family. My family, we are five members. Uh, my parents and my wife and my kids and me also. Hmm. What activities do you enjoy doing with your family? We are watching TV, uh, watching a uh, work to um, uh, someday work to park, uh, eating out, uh, some traveling, like that. Mm. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is chapati and al curry. Do you ever like to try English food? Yeah, English. I try it. Sometimes I try it. Do you like junk food? No, I am not like junk food. Could you tell me how often do you meet your friends and what do you do when you meet your friends? I meet my friends on a weekendly. We are playing with uh, we are playing together in, in a park. Do you like to play any sports with your friends? Yeah, I like. 
Thank you. This is the end of part one and you've passed. Congratulations. Thank you. Now we're going to move to part two. I want to quickly ask you about some of the rules in your country. Could you tell me what are the rules in your country? Uh, mainly I'm telling uh, one uh, my, my country rules about mainly traffic rules. Uh, drink and uh, drive not allowed without license and with the printer we can uh, drive then uh, left uh, left left side to or cannot overtake him by left side red flight uh, red light violation is not allowed below age 18 should not drive and what do you think about these rules the rules are <clears throat> developing of country health and uh, safety of uh, people's uh, in, uh, peaceful environment. Good. Very That's nice. It. That's nice. Is there any rule in your country that you do not like? What is that? I do not like uh, rules. I know uh, I like every, every rules. Don't you think some rules are unnecessary? No, no, no. I no, no, I not like that. Okay, all right. Do people follow rules in your? The country? rules are for us. Hmm. Do people follow rules in your country? Do people follow rules in you. your country? Hmm. People rules. No, most people are not. Do people follow, follow, follow rules in your country? Follow or not follow? No, 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 not follow, not follow. Do you have big punishment for breaking? Oh, yeah. Do you have big punishment uh, for breaking laws or rules in your country? Yeah, I got a one, one, one time I got one, one rule, uh, one penalty. Wrong side parking, that, uh, that was a wrong side parking. Can you ask me two questions about rules in my country? What about your uh, rules of your country? There are many, many rules. I think every country is nothing without rules. The most strict rules are traffic rules and rules related to income tax. Do you like these rules? Yeah, I think rules are important for the smooth governance in the country and for the success of people and the country in general. Thank you. This is the end of the speaking test yeah, and you have it. passed. Congratulations. Thank you. Now we're going to move to a listening test quickly. Get a paper and a pen for yourself. Uh, have you already practiced this already or... Have you practiced all the recordings from this section or not? No, no. No? Okay, I'm going to play a recording about squirrels. Have you ever heard about squirrels or not? Sir? Hello? Hello? Yes, have you ever heard about squirrels? Any recording about squirrels or not? No, no. Okay, I'm going to play a recording about, about squirrels. I would want you to listen to the recording twice and then I'll ask you six questions about the recording. Yeah? Can I, can I write? Of course you can. Are you ready now? 
Yeah, I'm ready. ISC 1, Task 1. Today, I'm going to tell you about a small wild animal called the squirrel. Now, the first thing that I would like to tell you is that squirrels usually make their homes in very high places. Amazingly, baby squirrels are only two centimeters long when they are born. How about food? Well, young squirrels go out looking for food in the daytime. These young squirrels usually come back to their home at nighttime because they feel safe there. That seems to make sense. We know that squirrels are very intelligent animals because they hide food under the ground for the winter. Now then, let's see. What else can I tell you? The squirrel's front teeth never stop growing all their life. Now it's time to have a look at the life of another interesting animal. Let's look at... Now listen again. Today. I'm going to tell you about a small wild animal called the squirrel. Now, the first thing that I would like to tell you is that squirrels usually make their homes in very high places. Amazingly, baby squirrels are only two centimeters long when they are born. How about food? Well, young squirrels go out looking for food in the daytime. These young squirrels usually come back to their home at night time because they feel safe there. That seems to make sense. We know that squirrels are very intelligent animals because they hide food under the ground for the winter. Now then, let's see. What else can I tell you? The squirrel's front teeth never stop growing all their life. Now it's time to have a look at the life of another interesting animal. Let's look at... Okay, now I will be asking you some questions about the squirrels. Yeah, okay. If you can give me three answers correctly, this means you have passed. Yeah, okay. So my okay. first question to you is, where do squirrels make their hopes? Very high places. That is correct. How big are baby squirrels at birth? Two centimeters. No. That is correct. What do young squirrels do in the daytime? Daytime, they're uh, going to food collecting. That is correct. Why do young squirrels return home at nighttime? That is safe. That is correct. How do we know that squirrels are intelligent? <clears throat> because they so hide their food. Uh, been... hmm? oh. I didn't get that. They hide their food underground. That's why they are thought to be smart. What is special about squirrels' front teeth? They are not uh, stopping growing. Hmm. You've passed your listening with a distinction. Congratulations. Now we're going to move to part two of listening. I am going to play a small recording about tigers. Okay? I want you to listen to the recording and then tell me in few words what is this recording about. You are not allowed to take any notes. ISE 1, Task 2. On today's program, we will be visiting Nepal to see one of the most beautiful creatures on Earth. We're going to see tigers. A fully grown tiger is a heavy animal and can weigh up to 363 kilograms. As you can see, they are large creatures and a tiger's tail on its own can be one meter long. Tigers usually hunt alone. They wait until it is dark to hunt other animals. 
Tigers can see very well in the dark, six times better than humans can. Tigers often eat five kilograms of meat in one meal. When they have eaten enough, they cover the rest of the meat with leaves and dirt and come back to it later. Unlike most other members of the cat family, tigers enjoy water and are good swimmers. You can identify an individual tiger by its stripes, as each tiger has a different pattern of stripes. Tigers can make a very loud noise when they roar. You can hear a tiger as far as three kilometers away. On today's program, we will... Please tell me in few words, what is this recording about? Sir, could you please tell me in few words, what is this recording about? Hello, Joseph. Hello. Hello, Joseph, I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I was just saying, could you please tell me in a few words, what is this recording about? Repeat yourself, please. Hello? <clears throat> yes. Could you tell me what is this recording about? Uh, the uh, rec hmm? recording broken. But can you give me the main idea? Recording... Because main idea, yeah. just the main yeah, idea. Yeah. What is it about? Yeah. We are talking about the tigers. That's enough. Uh, okay. It's about tigers yeah. and okay. where do they live and what do they eat. Thank you. I'm going to replay the recording and now you're allowed to take notes. This time when you will take notes, I would want you to tell me six facts about the recording. Let's listen. ISE 1, task 2. Can I take a... On today's program, we will... Right. Sir, take notes. For six points, you have to take notes. Yeah. Only in one part, yeah. examiner says don't take notes. And that is tell me in few words what is this recording about. Besides that, examiner tells you to take notes. Let's listen. ISE 1, task 2. On today's program, we will be visiting Nepal to see one of the most beautiful creatures on Earth. We're going to see tigers. A fully grown tiger is a heavy animal and can weigh up to 363 kilograms. As you can see, they are large creatures and a tiger's tail on its own can be one meter long. Tigers usually hunt alone. They wait until it is dark to hunt other animals. Tigers can see very well in the dark, six times better than humans can. Tigers often eat five kilograms of meat in one meal. When they have eaten enough, they cover the rest of the meat with leaves and dirt and come back to it later. Unlike most other members of the cat family, tigers enjoy water and are good swimmers. You can identify an individual tiger by its stripes, as each tiger has a different pattern of stripes. Tigers can make a very loud noise when they roar. You can hear a tiger as far as three kilometers away. On today... Could you please tell me six facts about tigers? Can I? Yes, please say it now. Yeah. Uh, we are talking about tigers. Uh, tiger is uh, tiger is a very uh, heavy. Uh, 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 heavy animal. 
ത്രീ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റി ത്രീ കിലോമീറ്റർ കിലോഗ്രാം വെയ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ടൈൽ ഈസ് വൺ വൺ മീറ്റർ ലോങ് ടൈഗർ ടൈഗർസ് ടൈഗേഴ്സ് ക്യാൻ സി ഇൻ ഡാർക്ക് ഇൻ ഡാർക്ക് ഫൈവ് കിലോഗ്രാം മീൽസ് ഇൻ വൺ വൺ ടൈം Thank you. I get sound uh, 3 kilometers away. You can hear. Oh, very nice. Do all tigers look the same? And no. And how well can they see in the dark? And um, six uh, how well they can see in the dark they can see six times better than humans in the dark human yeah yeah how how, how many six six times better six times. thank you this is the end of the test and you have passed your speaking and listening congratulations